right, so uh, coming up this Saturday, uh, the very first Saturday of every month, as always, we got laugh uh, But this Saturday, we got a bunch of great comedians. We got Jocelyn Sharp. Uh, we got um, Stephen Briggs coming up. We have uh, the great Hannibal Thompson, who tours all over the country, coming out here uh, to do this set for 30 minutes. And it's a $5 show, so make sure you guys come out here to MVP Sports Lounge every first Saturday of the month. Uh, and not to mention, this Saturday is falling on Cinco de Mayo, so you know you're going to be drunk and fucked up anyway, so you might as well be drunk and fucked up and laughing your ass off. Uh, so be sure to come down here at 10 p.m. Uh, this Saturday to, to check out the best fucking comedy show in Las Vegas uh, here at MVP Sports Lounge, uh, hosted by yours truly, Kevin Winnie. So I will see you guys on Saturday. Have yourselves a good one. Who here hates old people? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I like some old people. There's two types of old people. There's the ones that I like, which is like, my girlfriend's grandma is like 95, but she's still all there, and she curses like a sailor, and she wants to know like what's happening, she tries to keep up, or my grandfather, who's fucking in like the late stages of dementia, he's probably gonna die tomorrow, doesn't remember my name, but he's happy. So I'm okay with it, like just fucking, he's loving life. But then there's the miserable old people that feel entitled because they're so old. And I'm like, don't, that's not necessary. They're like, no, you should be nice because I fucking did this. And I'm like, how are you this angry? You have every day off. You have every day off. It's not that hard. And I do, because I do tech support for like internet services. So they're like, you have to talk slow because I don't know too much about computers. I'm like, really? Because 25 years ago, when they were being put in every home in America, you didn't think you might want to learn how these fucking things work? Because they might be important? You were in your 30s, you had the capabilities. Like, why did you have to be so steadfast and fucking stubborn? Did you think there was a guy, when like the car was invented, who just refused to jump on board? He was like, what's this, a horseless carriage? I'm not getting on that bandwagon. No, I'm just gonna stick to my trusty steed. And then a few years later, they're like, hey, your uh, ride just shit on my daughter and kicked me in the chest. So maybe buy a fucking Ford and catch up, you asshole. Here's something. I was watching, uh, I was watching uh, the movie Precious, right? And a friend of mine was like, oh, man, she's so beautiful, man. She's beautiful. I'm like, bro, no, she's not. Now, I understand. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Big women are beautiful. I love big women, skinny women, all women. Women are beautiful, I don't give a fuck what nationality you are, how you look. But Precious is not beautiful, man, she's not. I mean, let's just be honest, she's not beautiful. She's not that, here's the reason why. That movie wouldn't have worked if it was anybody else. You couldn't have put Holly Berry in the world of Precious. It would not have worked. You wouldn't have looked at it the same way. Think about this. Remember that scene when she was getting raped by her father? Everybody saw that and was like, oh, that's fucked up. Oh, she's getting raped by her father. Motherfucker, I jumped at the TV camera, that's fucked up. But what if that was Holly Berry? He was like, oh, she's getting raped by her father. Oh, fuck. He fucking the shit out of Holly Berry, though, ain't he? Damn, he. <laughs> he fucking the shit out of Holly, dog. <laughs> Wish Holly was my daughter, I'll fuck her. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm an asshole. I like to shoot people in the face with my penis. My favorite thing to do is uh, with women, I like to do the pump fake. You know what I'm talking about, my brother? The, like where you pretend like you're coming, because then she does this. I love that shit. I love it. I'm an asshole. I like to do that. You got to make the noise with it. And she's like, you know, like, I got you. I got you. Just like, it wasn't really going to come in your face. I'm like, I'll let you know when. I'm lying. I'll never let them know when.